Did you know that every zodiac sign is ruled by a tarot card? It's true! And in this video, we're going to dig into the rich symbolism of the zodiac sign Scorpio and the death tarot card. Wow, there's a lot going on here, but how does any of it relate to Scorpio? Let me explain. Scorpio is symbolized by the scorpion, a passionate water sign that is often associated with death, but not the tears and tombstones kind. Think more along the lines of regenerative powers and positive transformation. Ruled by Pluto, the lord of the underworld, this sign is a bit of a detective, known for digging deep to reveal what's below the surface. Scorpios are intuitive and emotionally intense, but with a poisonous stinger for a tail, you'd better think twice before crossing them, because a wounded Scorpio doesn't forget. Hey! All right. It's time to make like a Scorpio and reveal the meaning of the death card. So it looks like we've got Skeletor on a horse and a dead guy on the ground. I'm just messing with you. It's really not as bad as it looks. Symbolizing release and rebirth, the death card is more about transformation than anything and reminds us that you must be willing to let go of the past in order to embrace new opportunities. <laughs> So, what is Mr. Bag of Bones trying to tell us? Life is pleasant. Death is peaceful. It's the transition that's troublesome. Wow, you're getting deep, Slim. The skeleton actually represents what will remain after death, and his armor reminds us to focus on what is invincible and cannot be destroyed. Just like the Scorpio, this symbolism challenges us to look beyond death as we know it and focus on our capacity to rise above our pain and reinvent ourselves. Okay, let's see what else we can find in the card. The beautiful white horse that the skeleton sits upon stands for purity. White is cleansing and means rebirth, unlike the black banner that represents the absence of light. The white rose on the flag suggests beauty, purification, and immortality. Again, all of this is hinting at Scorpio's amazing ability to transform pain into love. Aww. Let's learn a little bit more about these guys, shall we? The pleading bishop is trying to use his faith to get a free pass, but unfortunately, religion carries no weight with death. No can do. The woman turning away represents the aversion that humanity has with death. She won't even look him in the eye and refuses to acknowledge his existence. Hey, I have feelings too. The child represents innocence, acceptance, and a lack of fear, while the dead king is symbolic of the fact that no matter how powerful you are, death is the great leveler. Want to know what's in the cards for you? Find out with a free reading from tarot.com now. Thanks for watching.